I would think it is very likely that night one is The Rock and Roman Reigns against Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins, and night two being Roman Reigns and Cody. Brian, Brian and Vini, along with Granny and Craig and sometimes other people. There were a couple of signs, some pro Cody signs on NXT tonight. Some. And I was told that they were planted. <gasps> what? I believe that they made a call. They did not realize how poorly this call would go over. How could they not? And now they are turning this into an angle. <laughs> and they're going to try to turn Cody into uh, this year's Daniel Bryan. Every match was good and the main event was great. I thought every match was fine, and the main event was good. I'll do you one. Every match was fine. The main event was great. There is Joe Gacy, who for some reason is doing a headstand and giggling. And for some reason, Dijak is freaked out by this. Brothers, upside down. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. Kids, you ever it, saw a guy upside down before? And you're like, oh, oh, he's hung upside down. Whatever will I do? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's Put that sucked. in the open. Please. Tell them that they're paid by a con, and they'll say, oh, he's hung upside down. Whatever will I do? The Chase U calendar, we are told, is almost sold out in the building. Lots of horny, lonely men lining up to buy this PG calendar. I hear there's porn on the internet. You don't really need a calendar. <laughs> she got booed, and then they showed a WrestleMania press conference video on the screen. The fans booed. Mm. This is not just something on Twitter, everybody. They showed a recap of the Rock Cody thing from SmackDown at the uh, house show yesterday. The fans fucking booed it out of the building. And then he chop blocks him from behind. Mm. And he gets a chair and he destroys his knee. And you can hear a trick on the mat. He's audibly screaming, one more time! Yeah. So he hits him a couple more times. I want to hear what they have to say about Trick Mello in the barbershop. That's where these guys go. That's where their, their, their mutual friends are. And they're going to have to pick sides now. Whose barbershop is this? You have the Peacock app, Granny. It tells me that I'm not on it anymore. Well, you better start logging in because I've been paying for it every month. What's my password? Well, give it out here on the air. Yeah, let's talk about it right here on the air. Chico rules with a Z. (laughs) I don't care anyway. I don't like it. Use Peacock or I'm going to stop paying for it. You can if you want to. What is the dumbest thing you've ever been asked? To be on this show. Wow. Ever seen the sun go down and the moon come up, Sean? Uh Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh Uh-oh. We Is got it magic video. time? Yeah, we got the sun going down behind the mountain, and the moon comes wow. up. Wow! What? Yeah. You want the moon to come up? Watch this. Craig, please. <laughs> Granny, what oh, do you got today? For what? Oh, I said Oh, my, my God. Already. Yeah, we've done enough. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, kids. You're paying for this. <laughs> And uh, I'm I'm not on the picture anymore, Brian. Now don't worry about it. We see you. Well, I want to see it. What do you want me to do about it? I'm not in charge. It's back. Okay. <coughs> Start from 1929. Who was president? Okay. Who was I'll... president when I was alive? That was Donald me. Trump. Some Shut up. Well, let me do it. Okay. <laughs> Up till 1933, it was Herbert Hoover. Mm. Herbert Hoover. Yeah, and he was uh, 50, 50, uh, he was our 31st president. (laughs) It is Black History Month, Mm -hmm. and so we should watch matches, like historic matches involving black wrestlers. Yes. But then Vinny said, just want to make sure Vinny is thrown under the bus here. He said, you know... It's Black History Month, but also people like us to watch horrible matches. Yes. So why don't we watch some horrible matches from this same show? So that is how we are paying tribute to the great <laughs> black wrestlers in history, by watching horrible matches. It's got one of these on with a camera on it. The refer eye cam. Yeah. They cut to the refer eye cam, and you know what you see? Apparently Nick Patrick's going like this. He's like, look at everywhere! Spastically! <laughs> And no, we're not going to talk a lot about uh, the Thursday media event. But if you did not see it, the main event of WrestleMania is Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes. 
Now, what they do with The Rock is yet to be determined. I would think it is very likely that night one is The Rock and Roman Reigns against Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins, and night two being Roman Reigns and Cody. Roman's out there. He's in his track suit. He looks like an athlete. You know, Cody's out there in his full suit looking like a total professional. You know, The Rock's out there in his, his uh, 1980s action hero outfit, his tight black pants and his tight tank top and his giant arms hanging out. And then you've got this bloke over there. He's dressed like a clown. You look like a geek, and then they treat you like a geek. And it's like, you look like a geek. Why would we choose you over Roman Reigns or The Rock? I mean, God, I just don't get it. They had a pay-per-view main event match for free in this opener here. They had a tie, and so they are both getting Samoa Joe. And Hangman is outraged. Him getting a title shot is not worth Swerve also getting one. He hates Swerve more than he likes himself. Brilliant. You know, I thought this show was one of the best Dynamites ever, but I was not into this at all. And it's the same thing every single week. She does a great job with the Tony Storm character, but in the ring, she's still a clown. Glorious train wreck is what this was. Glorious. So the Undisputed Kingdom were built up with a months-long storyline. Months and months and months. They were revealed at the end of a pay-per-view. They were essentially the main event. And they've done, like, nothing since then, and now they are feuding with the best friends. They're good workers. They'll have good matches. The announcement itself doesn't even sound that big. They're doing a dynamite. It's in Boston. They're calling it big business. Boston was misspelled to indicate one of the people debuting. But I think we're going to get a bunch of debuts in that show. You're going to split all the news. Like, oh, Mercedes and Okada debuted. Can you believe Okada's here? They're paying her a lot of money. And when you pay somebody a lot of money, she should be the entire focus of this show. Plus, you can debut somebody else on another big show. The Stings are all in attendance tonight. And that fucking guy jumped. I was just aghast. And the rough counts three, and Sting has won the AEW World Tag Team Championship. You know, these young bucks re-signed, and then they, like, did a thing or two, and then were just doing nothing. This angle felt so hot. Who would have thought? Put the young bucks in a main event angle, a heavy heat angle with Sting and Darby, and it makes this show just feel so major league. And I asked the same question. Where the fuck has Britt Baker been? She's gone. You know what they need? They need a big-time women's star to show up and light this place on fire. And right now, it's uh, apparently going to be Mercedes, but uh, there's another one. Britt just sitting on the shelf. So Booker T is out. Byron Saxton filled in for him this week. Yeah, not a fan of this Byron. Byron Saxton is like everything I hate about Vic, but worse. I have figured out my why. Mm. Fuck you. Oh, that's not nice. I shouldn't say that. That's a positive side. But it's so stupid. Just don't say stu- Don't say stupid shit, and I won't curse you out. Can we agree on this? Is that fair? You're old. That's cool as shit now. At no point. I figured out my why. In my 48 years on this earth, have I ever thought figuring out my why was cool? <laughs> well, you haven't figured out your why yet. You know, I haven't. <laughs> why did you willingly take a bullet and lose the Dusty Cup? If you were planning on turning on this guy who you had already... It doesn't make any sense. So his delivery was good, but I I was waiting for a hole to be plugged, and they did not. No, they tore it open. Yeah. It makes less sense now than it did before. There's a lot of shitty acting on this show. I thought that Josh Briggs was fucking awesome in this segment. The Virgin was like the greatest virgin. Like, these guys <laughs> are so good at playing their characters. They killed each other a lot. These guys are nuts. Two lunatics. It I, was two lunatics. A big lunatic and a small lunatic. Deciding, you I know, don't think the small lunatic knows he's a small lunatic. Joe Gacy is on his back and wheels out. He has a boxing glove mm-hmm. on a stick. There's a stick. And at the end is a boxing glove. He's on his back. He takes the boxing glove on a stick. And he gently taps Dijak in the face. A second or two goes by. Dijak goes, I was so pissed. (laughs) It was horrible. I wanted to never watch NXT again. Wow. 